Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are continuing with a declutter series for 2023. I have already started a declutter in my collection and I have already decluttered my primers and setting spray. That video is already alive on my channel if you want to catch up on the series. So today we continue. So, so if you missed out on that episode of decluttering primers and setting sprays, I started a little bit new concept with my decluttering series. So what I am doing is I am basically having these two baskets in front of me. One basket I'm going to be putting things that I'm fully decluttering and in the second basket I'm going to be putting products that I want to finish up in 2024 so basically it's going to be a project use up so there are definitely some products that I'm naturally reaching for and there are some products that I know I like but somehow I forget because I always try new products even though I'm still trying to be on a low buy however my collection still grows and new launches still keep happening and inevitably I end up with more products to try so to have a little bit more structure to my collection so I don't forget some things and still give them some love. I don't want products to go to waste. I will be putting them in a project use up. So here in this drawer, we're decluttering my affordable foundations and concealers. So let's start for my concealers. Let me just use this basket here. So I'm just going to put everything here and we're gonna be putting everything backwards. So let's start from this concealer right here. This is a Physician's Formula Butter Glow Concealer. Very excellent hydrating formula. I really enjoy this. This wears really well on my skin. I think it doesn't fade throughout the day and gives you the beautiful hydration. I definitely need to set this formula with a powder. However, I very much enjoy this. So that's gonna stay. My shade is a light to medium and it works pretty well. It's not too brightening on me. So now I have a newer product for me. This is a brightener from e.l.f. This is their lightest shade, shade Peach. I want to show you the shade. It's definitely peachy. It definitely covers your blueness. I like to apply it with a thinner layer because I think it still does a job uh, because the color is pretty pigmented. And I also need to use a pretty high coverage concealer on top of that because the shade is uh, pretty peachy on my fair skin, but I'm going to keep it. It's a really nice formula. So I'm also going to be keeping this concealer. I really, really like this. This is also a really nice full coverage concealer that doesn't look heavy under my eyes and it doesn't uh, um, settle into my lines to bed. Again, I would need to set this with a powder regardless. I set all my uh, cream products, complexion products. So this is in the shade C3. I really like this concealer. I'm going to be keeping it. So this one is from Sephora Best Skin Ever. I really, really enjoy this. This is in the shade 11.5P. This is a great shade that works for my concealer and for being my foundation. This is a really nice multi-use concealer that I very much enjoy. Great formula. Definitely keeping. So this is another concealer that I think I discovered in 2023. This is IRL Filter Finished Soft Matte Formula. I got mine in the shade C3. I really like this concealer. It's a little bit more of that lighter medium coverage, but I really enjoy this. I'm going to keep that. I'm also going to keep uh, this one from Makeup Revolution. This is Eye Bright Illuminator. This is in the shade Porcelain. This is the one that has a little poof on the end, but honestly, this is an excellent formula. This is more of your lighter buildable coverage, but I really like how natural this looks. I feel like nobody talks about it. Maybe this product had a little bit of a moment uh, back then when it was launched, but I feel like these days nobody's talking about it anymore. But this is very beautiful light formula that just looks undetectable on skin. However, it still brightens your under eyes. This is the concealer that I use for my no makeup makeup days. I'm definitely going to be keeping this. And uh, here I have uh, three concealers that are very, very light. So these concealers I've had for some time and these shades are just so bright. I do not use these anymore. So this is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This is a CoverGirl True Blend and this one is Incognito from Well Done Wild. So they are slightly bit different shades. So this one has a little bit more of a cool undertone. This one has a little bit more pinkish undertone and this one is just somewhat like neutral, but I do not use any of these concealers. So I just do not use shades like this anymore. So I'm gonna declutter these. Uh, so my last concealer here is Infallible Full Wear from L'Oreal. I had mine in a shade Ivory 330. This is actually a really nice shade match for me. I recently tried this concealer and I feel like it changed the formula because I remember liking this formula a lot. Also, it worked as a concealer on my under eyes and as um, like spot concealer or even a foundation all over my skin. So I remember liking this formula and it definitely changed its formulation. So I think it's just expired. So I'm going to be decluttering this. So I think we did a really well here. I am keeping six and I am decluttering a four. So now let's get into my foundation area. Here in this section, I kept more of my fuller coverage uh, formulas and here were a little bit more of a lighter formulas. 
So one product I for sure know I'm going to be keeping is this Complexion Crush Foundation from Ulta Beauty. Uh, exceptionally good formula. I really, really love the coverage. It just looks so beautiful on skin. It just makes you look more beautiful. Like the skin looks more plump and it gives you beautiful coverage. They knocked it out out of the park with this formulation. So this is in the shade light and neutral. It's a little bit uh, darker than my natural skin tone. This shade is more of my self tanning shade, but I really love this formula. I'm definitely keeping the product that I'm going to be decluttering. And oh my goodness, this needed to be decluttered like three years ago. Uh, as you can see, it's all separating the one from Ordinary. This was a coverage foundation. They had two different foundations. They had literally the same packaging. One was like a serum foundation. I think it was called a serum foundation. This, this one is called coverage foundation. This was a gorgeous formula, gorgeous formula, but this is just way too old. Uh, yeah, this cannot be used. This is literally going directly to trash. So this next product I'm going to be keeping, this is from Wild and Wild Tinted Hydrator. I had mine in the shade Affair, and this is a really nice formula. It is definitely more of your like lighter coverage, which is not my typical preference uh, for a complexion product. Uh, usually when I do a full face of makeup or a like, glam makeup, when I go out, I prefer medium and medium buildable formulas, but this is a little bit lighter and there are days that I want this type of formula and uh, I'm gonna keep it. So this product I will be unfortunately decluttering Age Perfect. Uh, four in one tinted a balm. I had mine in shade a light. First of all, the shade didn't really work out for me, even though the formula is quite forgiving, I have to say, because it is very light coverage and you can definitely share it out. So it's quite forgiving. You can definitely make it work with like bronzer, etc. But I just feel like this formula just generally does not work for me so well. I don't really reach for it. So it's not a bad formula by all means. It's actually a high quality product. I just feel like I'm not reaching for it and it just sits here in the drawer and uh, there is absolutely no use for it. I'm gonna declutter it. So next up is a Rivlon Illuminance Foundation. This has a 5% squalene and hyaluronic acid. I have mine in a shade 201. This is such a beautiful foundation. This is one of the glowing formulas, like illuminating formulas that actually work for my combo oily skin. So I usually prep my T-zone with a mattifying primer and uh, then I set it very well with powder and even setting spray, but just this foundation is just gorgeous. I love it. This is uh, definitely staying. Pretty fresh uh, from ColourPop, I'm definitely keeping it. This is really good a match for me for my palest complexion. This is in the shade Fair 30N and uh, yeah, I'm definitely keeping this. Another one that's gonna also stay true match from L'Oreal. This is considerably new foundation and uh, this shade N2 Neutral Light is my spot on beautiful match to my palest complexion as well. Also a very nice uh, like buildable formula and a little bit hydrating so it would work perfectly for me going into a winter. So I'm definitely gonna be reaching for this. So here I have a Believe a Beauty Skin Finish Foundation. This is a beautiful full coverage foundation that is a little bit darker than my fair self, but I really like this formula. It's actually really, really beautiful on skin, but I will be putting this in a use up area because I definitely don't want to let it go. It is a beautiful formula, but I will need to start using it a little bit more. So the plan is to finish it in 2024. So this is also very, very beautiful formula from LA Colors, truly matte long wearing high pigment foundation. I got mine in a shade natural. I think this is super affordable. This is also super beautiful. I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm gonna keep this foundation. I just need to clean this packaging a little bit because I can't stand dirty makeup in the storage. I don't really have too many full coverage foundations anymore. I used to use them more often, but this one is gonna stay currently. All right, another one that's going to stay very nice a match for my pale self. And I really, really like this formula. So this is going to stay. This CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundation. This is also full coverage foundation. I got mine in a shade at 810 Classic Ivory. I will put this in my project use up. Um, I've experienced a CoverGirl foundations going bad on the expiration date, so I really want to get more use out of this before it gets expired, so it's going into my project use up. This foundation is definitely going to stay. This is such a classic staple product, and I have mine in the shade 405. This is my really, really good match. Then I have Juvia's Place newly launched foundation. I think it was launched in 2023. It's called I'm Magic Natural Radiance Foundation. I have a mine in the shade Maricao. Excellent formula. Definitely a full coverage. A little goes a long way, but it's super long lasting. Doesn't settle into lines. Wears beautifully, beautifully. But this is definitely a shade that's my winter shade. That's my palest self. Uh, however, I just think it looks beautiful on skin. I'm definitely keeping it. And then the last one here is a Super Stay Skin Tint from Maybelline. It's in the shade 118. That's a little bit more of my self tanning shade. I really like the glow that this formula gives you. It just wears beautiful on my skin. I am definitely keeping this one.
I also guys, I have uh, these two products and I wanna show them to you here together because I have these two products currently in my shop, my stash. I had to pull them out just to make sure I include them in my collection so you can see everything that I have. So this NYX a Blur Tint Foundation, I actually uh, really like, it works for me. I do have this in a light neutral shade. I think it was just more of my summer shade. So this is definitely gonna stay here. And this product right here, this is HD Liquid Coverage from Catrice. So this has been standing on my vanity once this settled down right here I just noticed that how much separation that is here and I think this has been expired as you can see this product has been loved by me it is an excellent formula it wears really well it's very long wearing it looks very beautiful on skin I personally really enjoyed this formula but this needs to be decluttered right now I also wanted to include these three products because these are currently in my project pan for 2023 so I have a little bit left in this essence foundation this I use quite often and I am somewhere here already in the white area where I can't see the, through the tube, but this is one of my OG products that I've been using for, I don't know, since my early 20s. This has been repurchased many, many times. This is an excellent formula. I don't think anybody ever talks about this product anymore, but I am intending to finish this um, anytime soon, really. I probably have a handful of uses left. And this one is a concealer from ColourPop, a pretty fresh concealer, um, barely hanging by a thread, really. There's just very, very few uses left in this concealer here, but I really, really like the formula. It's probably one of the best concealers in the drugstore, to my opinion. My perfect shade is this one, and it's Fair 20 in, if you were wondering. So all these products, of course, are staying in my project pan until the end of the year, until I finish them up. So this is the basket of decluttered products. I am decluttering four concealers and three complexion products, and, and then I'm going to be working through or trying to finish these two up in 2024. So this is what my drawer looks like. I am feeling pretty happy about this. And these are the products that are gonna be decluttered for concealers and two foundation products. I feel pretty good about this declutter. This is kind of what I envisioned. These are the products that I knew were kind of like on the chopping blocks and I wasn't reaching for them. They were just taking space here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them in the comment section below the video. I would love to chat with you there. Thanks so much for watching. If you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you in my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in my next one. Bye.